Anybody ever notice? You should notice now much more. Anytime there is an election, do you guys know every time there's an election, what two things are actually reported during the election? <laughs> How much money they spent? Um, the sample mean? Well, the, not the sample mean. They may report what? Let's say voting for who? They may say, oh, voting for Obama. They'll talk about Democrats voting for Obama. Don't you think they'll say something like this? Mm. Based on a what? Based on a sample, or they'll say that they took a poll, OK? They have determined that, based on a sample or a poll, comma, 53% of California Democrats will vote for Obama with what? A, with what? What else do they report? They'll say this poll has a what? Margin of error of plus or minus what? 2.5%. Anybody notice this? OK, what in the world does this mean? Do you guys know what this information means? I mean, Jesus, they report it to you. They tell you in the media. They go, hey, here's this information. Why do you think they do that? What does it mean? Do you guys know? What does it mean to say that 53% of uh, California Democrats are going to vote for Obama, and then they report a margin of error of 2.5%? Do you guys know? What does that mean? That's not, it's not accurate. Huh? Away from what? Well, let's think about this, right? You guys want to know what this means? Well, well, what do you mean in between? What's in between? OK, you're going to say, you're right. Your instincts are what? Are correct. It is in between. You say 53% minus, and then 53% plus. Plus what? You know what E stands for? Margin of error. But what is? See, this E is your margin of error Margin of error. You see this p hat? What is that? Anybody know what that is? The sample what? Proportion. The sample what? Proportion. So they're saying that if I take the sample proportion and add the error, if I take the sample proportion and subtract the error, that something is between two values. What in the world is that something? What would be between those two values? What could possibly be between the two values? This thing. What in the world is that? This is the what? Nope. Nope. True proportion. So what they're saying is that the true proportion of voters for Obama, the actual true proportion is somewhere between what? 53 
plus 2.5 and 53 what? Minus 2.5. Okay? And so here's the deal. Let's compute that. So how do you write 53 as a decimal, 53%? Isn't that 0.53? Minus, how do you write 2.5% as a decimal? 0 0.025 less than P, less than 0.53 plus 0 0.025. What do you guys get as an answer? Between what? 50.5% and 55.5. Okay? So what they're saying is that the true proportion lives between 55.5% and 50. Point what? 5%. This is the estimation of the true proportion. We, we have just found an estimate of this parameter P. Okay, you guys see this, this portion right here? You see this? This is what I refer to as the, the format. I refer to this as your format because very often when people have questions on um, estimating proportions, doing what we just did, the first thing people, uh, the first thing I ask them is, what's your format? You guys want to know why I ask people that, what's your format? Why would I ask you a question when you ask me a question? <laughs> huh? No, besides that. Because guess what? You see your format? The format tells you what to do. So you say, I don't know what to do. What's your format? It's going to tell you what to do. And you may say, how does it tell me what to do? And I'm going to say to you, you have to determine the sample proportion. You have to determine the what? Margin of error. So the reason I ask you what's the format is because it's going to tell you what to do. Okay. You guys okay with that? Anybody have any questions on that? There is, yeah, there's a lot. Let me just say this. There's a lot more detail going on under the hood here than what I give uh, statistics classes. There's a lot more um, happening. It's related, you know, it, it's actually not even, um, what? There's a lot more detail going on. Um, but this is the end result. So, you know. Let me ask you this question here. How can you determine what the sample proportion is and what the margin of error is? How do you determine that? Very often, they'll tell you. Margin of error. So here's the funny thing. You know what sometimes students do when they say? It's kind of funny. People will come and ask me, and I'll say, oh, use the format. OK, here's the format. And then I'll say, what do you need to have? And they'll tell me, sample proportion and margin of error? And I'll say, yes. And then students will say, well, what's the margin of error? And I won't answer. I won't answer. Isn't that mean? What will I tell them to do? Say, so read it. What does it say? They read it. They read it. And then they go, is it this 2.5? And I'll say, how do you know? No. I'll say, how do you know? And then they'll say, because it says margin. Is that it? Because it says margin of error? And I'll say, what? Yeah, they told you it. So what happens is students make it more complicated than it has to be. 
You see what I mean? They're looking, they're thinking it should be much more complicated. Are you sure that's the margin of error? It's like, yeah, because they're what? They're saying it. You see what I mean? So you can't um, tie your shoes together before you run a race. Meaning that if they tell you this is the margin of error, then what? That's the margin of error. Believe it. <laughs> OK, you guys with me on that? But they may not tell you that this is a sample what? Proportion. They may not say it's a sample proportion. How do you know that's a sample proportion? Well, first of all, one tip off is percent. Remember, there's a relationship between proportion and percent, right? Probability and percent. You can think of this also as probability. Yeah. Probability. OK? So, but then what is that? Then it goes further. There's a few things. Sometimes I'll, I'll point to students this. They'll do their homework, and the whole section is estimating proportion. And they'll ask me, is that a mean? And I'll say, no. This is what? What section are you in? The proportion section. OK, so it's estimating a what? Proportion. So that, that's a common sense thing. Is that right? I mean, that's the first thing I would look at and go, what's this section? Could that be a mean? No, it's a proportion. The second thing is, what's the difference between a proportion and a mean. Give you a definition. What's a proportion? Yeah, exactly. It's a what? It's a ratio. But they didn't give you a ratio here. You know what I mean? They didn't give you no ratio. So what's a proportion? In fact, I'll give you the definition of a, a sample proportion. You guys know what that definition is? Here's the definition. You're right. It's a ratio of two, what two numbers? Well, x over what? n. That's a proportion. Think about this. How in the world did they conclude that 53%? How did they do this? They count, it's like if I asked the class here, how many people here vote for? Not taking their final. I'll ask, how many people vote for that? How do I compute? I mean, how do I make any sense of, of what you're doing? Like, for example, if I ask you what percent vote for not, how do I analyze that result? Like, how do I make any sense of your hands being up? You gotta count them. Is that right? So I'm counting here the number of. Success is <laughs> a success being you do not want to take your final. If I sat there and said, let's vote for prom, a prom queen here. Any prom queens here? You sure? <laughs> I know, I'm horrible. I'm bad. You sure? You, what are you guys going to do? You're going to raise your hand. And what do I do? I count how many hands were, were raised. That's the number of successes. What is n? What is it? It's the what? The total number of who? Well, in this case, if it's for a sample, it's the total number in the sample. You guys, that's a proportion. That's very different than the mean. If I say, what proportion of students smoke? I have to know the total number of the students? And I have to know what? How many smoke? See what I mean? I can compute a proportion. That's a very different thing than saying, what's the average number of cigarettes a student who smokes smokes per day? That's a whole other thing. That's a, a different formula. So you have to know the difference between a proportion and a what? A mean. OK? I can say you know, the mean age of students might be 22.5. I don't know. That has nothing to do with you being a male or female, right? Or counting proportions, or even voting, counting successes. Okay, that's a different concept. So this is your definition of sample proportion. Are you guys okay with that? So they may even give you this example. 